Hi, this is Sheila Aliens. Today is July 17th, 2012. A couple of Florida stories today. Genetically modified mosquitoes may be released in Florida. To help combat a growing mosquito population in Florida, Oxitec has proposed a plan that involves releasing genetically modified male mosquitoes into the Florida Keys so that they'll mate with existing females and the larvae that they hatch will not be able to live long enough to bite people. But then they're talking about completely killing off the whole species of mosquitoes eventually, you would think. Not just that, there's so many things that can go wrong with this. After learning about Oxitec's plans, Key West resident Mila Demir set up a change.org petition to stop the company from releasing the mutant mosquitoes. In the petition's description, Mir said, Nearly all experiments with genetically modified crops have eventually resulted in unintended consequences. For instance, recently in Texas, it was revealed that genetically modified grass has been killing cows because it is producing a cyanide gas. And that was not expected. It was not foreseen. It just started happening. Think of what could happen with an insect that bites us and sucks blood. The petition has over 100,000 signatures. I can't help but be reminded of the beginning to a couple movies like I Am Legend. So you have actually cured cancer? Yes, yes. Yes, we have. Yeah, let's just not do that. Also in Florida, you guys can be expecting a big cloud of Saharan dust to come along by Wednesday, and it should be around for a few days. We have a new wave that's uh, coming off Africa right now, but all of these waves, boy, they've been trying to contend with a lot of dust. Now, dust in this part of the Atlantic, in the eastern part of the Atlantic, is, is not uncommon. Common. You see that a lot, but, but I'll tell you what, what is impressive to me is the concentrated area of dust that has been moving across the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. If you've seen some of the webcams in the Virgin Islands, very hazy. This is the most concentrated area of dust that I've seen this far west all year. And that's why I think that this dust will be certainly in the Bahamas. It's already there. And I think this will be moving in the Florida at some point, ah, maybe later tomorrow in the Wednesday, but uh, usually what you end up seeing in the Virgin Islands is what you're seeing in the uh, Central Atlantic right now. You have some dust, but it's broken apart. This is a large area, and that's why we think it's going to uh, continue to move uh, off to the west. Thank you so much for watching. Much love. Bye.